for the lead. Matt Kenseth trying his teammate, Denny Hamlin. Kurt Busch right there in the 41. And Kenseth now to the number one spot. Watch high in turn two. Stewart 14, Kyle Busch 18. Oh, yeah, you can see Kyle Busch, is, he tried to exit the corner there. Just slipped up. I think he knew that, it, that the 14 was there, but he just couldn't hold his car down. Car's down, guys. Car's down. Coming straight to you. Just blew up. Marcus Ambrose. Going right behind the wall. Trailing a long stream of liquid behind that nine car. Okay, here's a question I asked Richie's in the garage this morning. If, if you have five laps on your tires and the caution comes out, are you going to come down pit road? And they said yes. Most of them said they would. Said their cutoff was like two laps. So they've run five laps under green. We'll see what they do. We know Tony Stewart's coming in, probably the 18 of Kyle Busch. Ambrose, after the disappointment of coming up a spot short at Watkins Glen to A.J. Allmendinger, knew he had to try and win tonight or Richmond to make the chase. So he pull out a line, he knew he had something going wrong. Clint Boyer's view. Oh, yeah, you see the oil getting on the lens. Watch it up. You're all good. You're all good. Keep coming, man. Keep coming. Engine failures here at Atlanta have been a theme, a lot of them after halfway, some by drivers leading the race, particularly last year, but we're not quite to halfway in this one tonight, and uh, Ambrose has had a major problem in the nine car. Your Chiefs are going to have a little bit of time here, probably, until they get the road cleaned up to make that decision, Andy. Yeah, they got a big mess down there. They laid a bunch of oil down. And pit road is closed while they work on that. So while we wait for the pit road to be open, we'll check with Jamie. Well, just behind where they're cleaning up that mess is where Marcus Ambrose stopped it right here. Any indication that led to this? Uh, ran over a little bit off uh, turn two before it hit reached and uh, it's done something pretty big there because it's lost a lot of oil. But uh, I just pulled in here because I didn't want to ruin anyone's pit lane. And uh, our night's done. Tough night for the nine car. Meanwhile, we do have Tony Stewart on pit road. Yeah, Stewart and Kyle Busch not waiting for the pit road to be open to come in and get some attention paid to the right sides of their cars. Quite a bit of damage to the right side of both of those cars. And you see that happen a lot on restarts here. Drivers just trying to get everything that they can. Tony had already wiggled back in the center of the corner a little bit, but he was up there in the high lane. I think Kyle Busch probably... With, uh, along with this car going, he was chasing it up there, but uh, just misjudged a little bit there, thinking that he was in front of the 14. And it's so hard to judge that. You, you go strictly by your speed that you're doing. No, you can yeah. see the big wiggle Chase right there. Up. Yeah. Yeah, I had not seen that before. You just hit those seams. And that's what Kyle Busch was on with his left rear tire there. And a lot of times you hit that, you lose control of the back end, slides out from under you. Tony Stewart the wrong place at the wrong time there for that. Working on getting that 14 as squared away as they can, Jamie. Yes, and Chad Johnston, his crew chief, just said on the radio, this is going to take a few pit stops to fix. You saw him jack it up on the right side. They were checking underneath, checking the components, making sure suspension is okay. So they're going to try to pull that fender out a little bit more and work on the damage. Meanwhile, he had to just pull out through all of that oil that was right outside of his pit box. Okay, you see, they just worked on the car, the damage. They didn't change the tire. They're going to wait until they get the car fixed before they put on a set of tires and, and potentially mess up a set of tires. They do have 10 sets. Uh, in the pits when this race starts, but most teams were, you know, thinking that might be right at the limit of what they might use. They don't want to waste a set right now. They're going to have uh, a number of caution laps to get ready for the full set of pit stops because it is a big mess down there on the pit lane after Marcus Ambrose had his problems. Gives us a minute to check in in the Quicken Loans ESPN Pit Studio. Michael? And welcome into the Quicken.